class. I'm Hagarin Nadia, a grade 6 teacher at Fountain School. Now, today, I'll take you in technology studies. And this, sub, uh, this subject, you know, is based so much on skills. So, at the end of the lesson today, please get something out of what I'm going to teach. So, in technology studies, we'll look at uh, construction. Now, under construction, we said the other time to say construction, the other name is building. So, last time under construction and uh, building, we looked at uh, different set out tools, you know the stages that are involved in preparing a land for construction. It might be maybe constructing a structure, a shop, a house, or different structures you want to construct. We said there are certain tools that are used. We say you can use the measuring tape, you can use the tri-square, you can use the tray, um, uh, stakes, you can use the plumb bulb and different uh, things. So we say the stages that are involved in preparing a land, we say number one, you need to clear, you know, we say the first stage is clearing. So we say what is involved in clearing, we say this is it where you remove all the unwanted things, it might be trees, stones, all the trenches, you cover them, you fill them up so that see, your structure or as you come to now digging, you know, a trench or a foundation, you not have anything to hinder. Then number two stage or the, the second stage, we said you set now, no, we said setting is the second a stage in constructing something. This is where we said you make a full size, you measure a full size plan of your structure. Then the third stage we said this is where now you uh, uh, dig. We said we said digging and we said digging this now involves you know making a trench or a foundation in which in which that structure now will stand then the fourth stage and the last stage we say construction okay construction where you say building okay so we said in you know constructing a structure is based on these four stages so make sure you don't forget where we are coming from now today I want you to introduce you to the other um, uh, aspect where we said now look at it, construction or we can say building or we say digging, digging and construction. Building and construction. which is the final stage. Now, what should happen in digging? So in digging, once the building site has been cleared, leveled and set out, you are ready to start digging now. Now, what is involved in digging? The foundations are dug first. So once you're done with all the two stages, the next stage is now you dig now a trench or a foundation. So now, the type of foundation depends on the type of soil or rock on the site. In sand soil, you need to deepen the foundation. So in sand soils, in sand soils, you need to make your foundation a little bit deep so that your structure will be strong and firm. Then, in in hard stony soils, you need to shallow your foundations. So we are looking about two types or three types of sand where you need to you know, dig a foundation. They say in sand soil, you need to make your foundation a little bit deep. Then in stony or maybe um, hard soil, you need to make your foundation a little bit shallow. You need shallow foundation. Now, when foundations have been dug, what should be next? The trenches are filled with concrete. 
So once you are done selecting and you, know, you are done digging the foundations, depending on the type of soil that you have, that foundation now is filled with concrete. I want you to mark this way. Your foundation should be filled with concrete. Concrete, is it an animal or a human being? What is concrete? Concrete is the mixture of these materials. Number one, so we are saying is the mixture. Concrete is the mixture of the following materials. Number one, sand. Okay. Number two, cement. Number three, water. Then, the other one we can say maybe stones. You can say and stones. So if you are asked to say, define concrete, what do you understand by the term concrete? Concrete is the mixture of sand, cement, water and stones. Now, walls are built on top of the foundations. So once that foundation of yours has been filled with this concrete, what should come next? The walls now of your structure or your building will be built on top of the foundations where there's a concrete. And most walls are built using bricks, okay? You remember last time when we looked at uh, different materials or materials that are used in construction, we looked at it, bricks, blocks, and different materials. Others, they build their structures using grass, others arm sheets, and different materials. Now, today we are saying walls sometimes, in most cases, are built with, or are built um, using bricks or blocks. That will be the area of our focus today. Now, bricks are made of clay, cement, or a mixture of cement. Sometimes, these bricks, we say sometimes bricks are made out of clay and we looked at the processes that are used to make, you know, clay bricks, you know, the processes that are involved for you to have the actual bricks that you want to use on your building. So we said these things are built or walls are built using bricks. Now, bricks are held together. As you are building, in between the bricks, what should be there? What should be there is called mortar. This word, mortar, is the thing or material that is, you know, used to hold bricks in the middle so that you have a nice structure. So, you, are, you can be asked to say, what holds together the bricks? You say mortar this way. Now, Construction is the process now. Once you are done all those things, you want now to start constructing. Of course, of these things are in place. You say construction is the process of making a structure. You may be asked to say define construction. So we are saying construction is the process. Construction is the process. The process of Making, making a structure, a structure using different, different materials, different materials. That's the definition. Now, today I want us to focus much on the bricks. To focus much on the bricks. I have a sample with me. This is a type of a brick. Okay? What type of a brick is this one? Very good. So we said this type of a brick is called a clay brick. It is made out of clay. Okay? And it, you know, it had gone through processes, different processes for it to be ready. So this brick now, we are going to look at its parts. Regardless of the way it is looking, you know, it is appearing in our eyes. Sometimes people may say it is dirty, but it has parts. Now, before we go to the parts of this brick, I want us to look at different types of the bricks. Different types of bricks. We say types of bricks. 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 Types of bricks.
types of bricks. Number one, we have um, bent bricks. We have bent bricks. We also have hollow. Okay, we have hollow bricks. We also have bull nose. Bull nosed bricks. We have paving bricks. We have paving bricks. Commonly known pavers. You may discover or maybe hear people saying pavers. These are called deep paving bricks. Sometimes we also have concrete bricks. Concrete bricks. Meaning that these bricks are made out of these materials we looked at when we were defining the word deep concrete. Then, last but not the least, we can also say engineering. Engineering. Engineering bricks. We have a lot of types. We have a lot of bricks or types of bricks, you know, are in construction, building and construction. But here I just want to look at these six. So we have bent bricks, these are types of bricks. I will ask you to say, can you mention types of bricks that we have? Maybe two, three, or four. So number one, bent bricks. Number two, hollow bricks. We have bullnosed bricks, paving bricks concrete bricks and also engineering bricks. Now let's focus on the parts of this brick. Parts of this brick. Parts of this brick. Parts of this brick. Remember 
we said A, this part, stretcher face. B, it is called header face. The down part, it is called bed. Then D, what is D? Frog. The frog is the top part. The top part. The top part is the, the frog. The top part is the frog. The top part is called the frog. The down part is bed. Then E, E it is called, now this part, this part here. Not this part, but just this line. It is called edge or eris. Eris, sometimes you may tell it as eris or edge. Now the last one, the margin. Where is our margin? Where is our margin? The F1, which is in this one. How it get? So this one is called a margin. Remember this one we have said? L is for H. Then this part is called a margin. So these are the types of or parts of a brick. So quickly I just want to draw down this part so that you are able to draw it nicely if you see it in the uh, maybe in the paper. So this is an example of a brick which is a drawn. So here it will have something like this now. There will be more like a hole here. There will be a hole. Okay. So there will be a hole here so as to identify it so well. Alright. So we are saying, or we say, the first part, which is in A, which is called the stretcher first. Then B, we say B, we say, who can remember what we said about B? B, we say it is in this one. It is called a header face. Then C, C we said the down part here. The down part we said it is in the bed. The best. The down part is the bed. Then where is our D? Our D is this whole thing here, which is called a frog. So this down part on top of this base, there's a hole. A simple hole. It is called a frog. Then E, we said Eris, we said it is here. It is called H or Eris. Then last one is F, which is a margin. So this line is called a margin. So this is where we come to the end of today's lesson where we are looking at digging, also the parts of the brick, and um, also the process of construction. Now, here on the chart, I have something so that we also refer to what we were looking at. So we said when the foundations have been dug, the trenches are filled with concrete. We defined what concrete is. We say concrete is a mixture of these materials. One, cement, sand, stones, and water. That's how it is defined. Concrete is the mixture of cement, sand, stones, and water. Then we said most walls are built using bricks and they are held together with mortar. These bricks, in between them, when you are constructing or when you are building a structure, in between you have to put mortar. Then construction is a process of making a structure using different materials like grass, bricks, and others. Then we also looked at types of bricks. We have one, bent bricks, hollow bricks, concrete bricks, bull-nosed bricks, paving bricks, and engineering bricks. We have a lot of examples, I mean types of bricks, but these, I want you to know them so that next time as you meet others, you also add on what you learned today. Then parts of a brick, we have stretcher face, header face, bed, frog, eris, edge, and margin. So I showed you, I showed you the real, the solid brick, which is this one, and also the one which is drawn. So if you are told to say, can you identify the parts and label them, you label them like this. You say C, you write what is on C. E, you write what is on C. So now, I'm inviting you to now write, you know, the exercise. I want to see if I told you were paying attention when I was teaching. So you can get your book, your pen, and your pencil with the ruler so that you underline your work so well. So... Write the example, I mean the questions 
on the bottom and D. I want you to copy them in your book. So here are the questions. So number one, mention any three types of bricks. Mention any three types of bricks. Number two, or question two, define the following. Concrete. You need to define the word concrete. What is it? Number two, or B, you say construction. What do you understand by the term construction? You need to define construction. Then number three, when constructing, bricks are held together with dash. What is put in between the bricks as you are constructing? Then number four, draw and label the parts of a brick below. So this is an example of a brick. I've put the Roman numerals. So I want you to remember the words these parts. When you see this part, what does it, you know, it tells. You need to write the names of these parts on this type of a brick. So today, or oh, this is where we end our lesson in technology studies, where we are looking at construction, specifically digging and construction. So we've talked a good number, we've talked about a good number of things. So you have been with me Teacher Ian, a grade, six, a grade 6 teacher at Fountain in Kasama. Until next time, bye-bye.